Oh, lonely, lonely chopper. So he clogged it up, so we had to unclog it. And he thinks he might have sheared a bolt, I'm not real sure. That deer slipped down, I think. I know! <laughs> I jumped in mine and it's like where all the stuff goes because his hood his nose is a lot longer than mine he has fenders this one does not this is still the loner 120m but the 44 is having some issues and we just don't want to catch it on fire it's not worth it right now so uh, we'll just bring this one over here unhook rehook rewire a few things and hopefully get going before any of this stuff gets any drier because once you start corn silage just it's got to be like let's go let's go kind of thing today has not gone as at all planned um we've had problems with the chopper we've had problems with the 44 uh we've had we've done two loads two loads of silage today so um, we've unhooked the 44, we went home, we got the 120M off my baler and brought it over here and here's hoping there's enough ponies under this hood to do the job. Oh, lonely lonely chopper. It needs to be chop chop chopping. So if you've been here a while, you know that, like as in you've been in here from the beginning, this field used to be an alfalfa grass mix. It kind of had died out um, last spring. So we went ahead and planted the corn here last year and this year. So now it's had two years of corn. Alfalfa is very toxic to, it's got a toxidiosis. It's not toxic, it's got a toxidiosis. That takes a lot to break up. So having the corn here did so much good for this ground. So after this is all done, we're gonna come in, work the ground, and plant alfalfa, drill alfalfa. And then this field will be back to being hay ground. We're very fortunate that our landowners um, that we rent from um, allowed us to put in this corn silage. Um, it was really handy because the barn's right there, the cows are right there. Uh, but next year we'll be doing it in a different spot Jason's got a couple of different options. Um, but again, all this will be back being beautiful sea of alfalfa, God willing.
our pit. Did you know, this is a fun fact, did you know that in the United States alone, 40% of dairy and beef cattle are fed corn silage in their forage dietary? Yesterday I had an oops and uh, I didn't get over far enough, so I gotta pick this up. We don't want to leave it in the yard. Back to the 145. <sighs> I kind of been missing my tractor. This one's just bigger and wider and longer and I just like my tractor. Honestly, I never thought I would say or hear the words coming out of my mouth that I actually like a deer, own a deer. <sighs> but that's beside the point. I don't fall down the steps here. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay. Ready? Ready for a day? Can you hang out there for a minute? While I get organized? Okay. Walkie. On. Hopefully I grab the charged one. If not, we'll have to call Carol and get a delivery. Jason's got one in his in the in my tractor, the, the one he's got with the chopper. It's a radio radio, it's in, in it, so it doesn't ever come out, which is really handy. Oh. Aren't you going to bet his radio comes on? I have mine set that the radio doesn't come on when I get in the tractor. Okay, got him some uh, fuel. Uh, apparently we are peanut butter people. <laughs> mine are cookies. It's a prep. So... That's where we're at. We're just gonna keep chopping until we can't chop no more. And pray it all goes today. So it's September, today's the first. Um, clearly you guys are gonna be a few days behind uh, just because I've got content that I am behind on. And I hate that, I hate that. You guys have heard me like talk about it numerous times. I hate being behind on videoing and editing and uploading, but this summer has been so chaotic and so busy. I just am literally like running on empty and I just had to like prioritize some things. With that being said, September is all about catching up and it's my birthday month. So here's goals. There is a wrench that Jason missed. Hold on, hold that thought. Let me pick this up. I guess he's trying to plant them. Most farmers just plant flowers. Okay, so what I was saying, birthday month, and I'm asking you all for all the help, okay? All the help. I have this goal by the end of the month to hit 20,000 subscribers. Guys, the channel has grown so, so much in the last few months. 
and I am so thankful for that. You guys are truly amazing. It means so much to me that you guys want to hang out with us. Um, <laughs> and I am trying to commit myself to um, at least doing a video every other day, like uploading it every other day. Um, even if it's me like going live or something, that's kind of like thought process rationalized here. Like, what do y'all think? I mean, I know I tried to do it around Vlogmas, but I'm thinking like birthday Vlogmas, birthday Vlogmas. I don't know. Vlog birthday. I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to play with it. Anyway, we are also going to run a special on the teas. Um, we're going to say discount to get 10% off, use code birthday. Links below, use birthday and receive 10% off. Also, share with all your friends, like on your own social media pages, you can find me at Chronicles of Kayla W on Instagram, Chronicles, um, I have a public page on Facebook, you guys can follow that, you have the blog, so there's a lot of different ways you can connect. Also, um, going into the 2023 year, I am starting back up my newsletter. I'm starting back up my blog post. I have so many things that I want to do this fall and winter, why we are kind of slower in the hay season, that I cannot wait to share with you guys. So stick around, jump in the buddy seat. It's open today. I No, Ryder. I almost forgot Ryder. Jason has Ryder, so I did not forget him. Did not forget my baby. So, uh, Buddy seat's open, guys. It's here. See it? I'll even put it down for you. Would you like me to put it down for you so you guys can ride along? Okay. I've had too much caffeine. Maybe one too many iced coffees this morning. Hi! Yeah. Yep. cannot keep up with Jason. He's having to sit and wait on me. That stresses me out sometimes. Kind of got a off 
off-road plant. They're Midlands. Um, Jason has one that's in my tractor already, so it's an MXT, I think. These are just handheld walkies that talk to that radio as well. So we have three yellow ones. Um, I call them I mean, matching today. Look at that. Um, and I also was like eating my hair, so that had to go up out of my face. I don't know how some some ladies handle the hair down while they're working. And maybe I should just cut mine. That might make it easier. I don't know if you guys can see just like how tall this corn is. Maybe Jason can take some video of it. But it is a good foot taller than the tractor cab. Uh, I wonder how much we lose going up the hill here. I'm starting to feel like that lollipop commercial with the owl and how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Pop. I'm starting to feel that way, like how many loads till the pit is filled. I have been on this road back and forth and back and forth since like one o'clock. <laughs> Made lots of round trips today, guys. starting to cool off and there is a small smidge of chance of rain tonight but it's not looking promising. 